Okay guys, we're going to be doing texture rubbings today. And to do a texture rubbing, we're going to use copy paper, crayons, and every table will get a pan of different textures. I made some of these using cardboard and hot glue, and they're two-sided. Some of these are just random things like a sink scrubber for dishes a piece of sandpaper, just whatever I could find that had a different texture. And so you're gonna get your copy paper and you'll put your texture underneath your paper, wherever you want it, and you fill to make sure it's where you want it. Then you take whatever color you want. Now if you can find a crayon that you like that does not have a wrapper, those are better to use, but if not, it's okay. You can use one with a wrapper and just color like you normally would. And so then you just take your crayon and you rub over the texture with the crayon like this on your paper. Now you kind of have to push down a little bit when you do this. And you gotta hold your paper down too or it's gonna just go every which way. You can also layer your different textures you can color on top of one you've already done. And you're gonna fill your entire page. You don't wanna leave empty spots because that's boring. I'm gonna get another crayon. I can flip this over and do the other side. And then I can color this corner too. You can layer it a little bit if you want to. I think that looks interesting when you do that. And you're gonna fill your entire paper. This side here as well. You can get another texture and do that. Um, some of you today are going to do this sheet. Okay. So on one side, you're going to do the crayon rubbing, the texture rubbing like I just showed you. But on this side, you're gonna get a pencil and you're gonna recreate that texture using just a pencil only, not the texture plate at all. This one, you'll do the crayon rubbing with the texture plate, but this one is just you and a pencil. Okay, so you could take your, see I'm gonna do this one, take the next texture, put it underneath here, get your crayon out, do your rubbing, And then you would get your pencil, and on this side, you would start to make this, recreate this. Okay, so I'm going to start with the darker lines first, and they're not solid. You're not just doing stripes. You're trying to recreate what you've done with the texture plates. Okay, so I just go through here, and I kind of make my lines kind of how I see them. And they're not perfect lines. Okay, so some of them are darker than others. You just sort of go through here, creating your lines. All right, and then, after you get done doing these lines, which they mine are not perfect at all, they don't even line up. I think I've missed a spot. There we go. When you get done doing all these lines right through here, which I'll need to finish, you can come through here with your pencil and just sort of do the lighter marks, see where the crayons have smudged. So you'll come through here and you'll just sort of do those lighter markings with your pencil. And it's just sort of sloppiness. It's not like anything perfect. You're not trying to recreate a drawing of an, of an animal or a person or anything that, you know, you're not trying to make it look exact. So I'm just coming through here and I'm just sort of doing those lighter lines that I've made where my crayon has sort of smudged. And so I'll come through here and I'll finish this and then I'll finish these lines, these sort of smudges on here, and then I'll be done. 
And so that is texture, how to do texture rubbings and recreations. Uh, texture is how something feels or look like it look like it would feel if you could rub your hand across it or touch it. Um, this sort of texture is going to be really smooth when you do a rubbing of it. So don't say, oh, this doesn't make a texture, Miss Williams. There's no texture. Yes, there is. It's just very smooth. Okay. So some textures can be smooth. Some can be bumpy, rough. Um, all kinds of different textures. Like the sandpaper. Alright. So that's how you do a texture rubbing.